This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hi there, I'm Jared Dillingham with a check of what's happening right now in Arizona. Scammers are looking to capitalize on Suns fever this week. The state attorney general's office is reminding fans to watch out for fake tickets. Their advice? Make sure you buy from trusted vendors. Don't pay with cash, wire transfers, or gift cards. And be wary of buying from someone you don't know on auction sites. And be skeptical of low prices, which seem too good to be true. State health experts are calling out Arizona lawmakers for passing a bill which bans schools from requiring face masks. It was a line item in the newly passed budget. Health leaders say the ban is dangerous because most kids aren't even eligible for the vaccine yet, and the highly contagious Delta variant is still spreading. They're hosting a virtual meeting on Wednesday asking the state to reverse that decision. A man from Arizona who became one of the most infamous people to breach the Capitol during the riot in January will remain behind bars as he awaits trial. Jacob Chansley, known as the QAnon shaman, wore horns and animal skins to the Capitol and is currently undergoing mental health evaluations. A federal judge ruled that Chansley could still potentially flee if he were to be released before his trial. The judge says given Chansley's prominence within the QAnon movement, he could quickly raise large amounts of money if he wanted to flee. The Coconino National Forest closed because of the fire danger just reopened for visitors with some important restrictions to keep in mind. So it's a good idea to call the ranger station before you head up there to camp. Some areas are still staying closed and campfires are not allowed. The extreme heat is back in your seven day forecast from Arizona's weather authority peaking this weekend before a slight chance of storms returns at the start of next week. For the top stories anytime, download our app and subscribe to our YouTube or Roku channels. I'm Jared Dillingham. Have a good night.